Are you charged with reckless driving in Seattle or anywhere in Washington State? Well, if so, that's a pretty big problem. My name is Lance Fryer, and I'm a criminal defense attorney located in Linwood, Washington. My law firm's been open for over 20 years defending people charged with all types of crimes, including reckless driving. And this video is made to tell you a little bit about what reckless driving is, what it isn't, and what to do if you're charged with reckless driving. I mean, how do we get you out of this mess? So what is reckless driving? Well, reckless driving is defined as driving in a willful and wanton disregard for the safety of persons or property. So what does that mean? What does that mean, Lance? Well, it sort of means whatever a police officer says it means. Willful and wanton suggests purposeful con conduct, not just negligence, you weren't paying attention. Um, willful and wanton means that you sort of knew what you were doing, like doing donuts in a parking lot if it endangers other people, or speeding 40 miles or 50 miles over the limit. There is no set speed over the limit before they can charge you with reckless, but uh, basically purposeful conduct, not um, you know, falling asleep and running into a, a garbage can. That probably isn't reckless driving. That might be negligent. So reckless driving, what are the penalties? Well, reckless driving is a gross misdemeanor offense, which means the maximum penalty is 364 days in jail and a $5,000 fine. And the worst part, in my opinion, about reckless driving is that if you're convicted, you lose your license for 30 days. And that doesn't seem that long, but to get your license back, you have to maintain SR22 insurance for a period of three years. And that's difficult, costs a little more money, and that's best to be avoided. Also, it'd be better not to have a crime on your record. So what do we do about a reckless driving charge? Well, uh, what we do is the first thing we do is we take a look at the police report and see why is it the officer says you're reckless. You're on a motorcycle going really fast, were you going 60 and a 30? Was there a bad traffic accident? Are there some other reasons why that happened? Um, what's your prior traffic record like? And maybe we could have you do a class. Oftentimes we might have you do a traffic class, a level one four hour class, or a level two aggressive driving class. And nowadays those can be done online quite often. And if we can get you to do a traffic class, sometimes we can use that along with other factors in your case, to persuade the prosecutor not to convict you of reckless driving. So what options does a prosecutor have looking at a reckless driving case? I was a prosecutor for seven years prior to doing defense for 20 plus years. So when I was a prosecutor, I would look at other options like, hey, can I reduce this to a traffic infraction? A common reduction from a criminal reckless driving charge is down to a traffic infraction of negligent driving in the second degree. So that's not a crime. It's like a very serious speeding ticket in a way. It costs quite a bit of money, over $500, but you don't go to jail, you don't lose your license, and you don't have any criminal record if it gets reduced to that. Even better than that, maybe we can get it into a speeding ticket, or sometimes we can get it dismissed altogether. It just depends on what the fact pattern looks like, who the prosecutor is, and what we can have our clients do to try to show the prosecutor that this isn't gonna be a problem in the future. So if you're charged with reckless driving in Seattle or anywhere in Washington State, you can always reach out to my firm. Again, my name is Lance Fryer. I'm the owner of the law offices of Lance Fryer. We're in Livewood, Washington. We're open pretty much all the time. If, if we're closed and you give us a call, we have an answering service that'll try to get you through to us. Just give us a call. We'll do everything we can to help. We'll be there for you. Thank you.